Governor Kay Ivey has just proclaimed that tomorrow, Ash Wednesday for many, as a day of prayer for Ukraine here in the state of Alabama. Our team coverage continues right now with ABC 3340's Ashley Gooden. Ashley, you talked with the head of the World Games 2022 about the ban. Yes, I spoke with the CEO Nick Sellers about the board's decision to ban Russian and Belarusian athletes. And while some may believe it's wrong to punish athletes for the decisions of their government, the board does believe this is the best and right decision. Certainly nothing that we take joy in. These are innocent athletes that have worked very hard for this moment. But so did Ukrainian athletes, many of whom will have to stay behind in their home country to fight for their families and their lives. The World Games Board of Directors made the decision that banning Russian and Belarusian athletes is the best way to send a message. It was the right thing to do in this moment to show solidarity um, for the rest of the world, for peace. World Games CEO Nick Sellers says they are following the recommendation of the International Olympics Committee in support of world peace. What our hope is, is that this conflict, this war, is over quickly and innocent lives are saved and the Ukrainian athletes can come here and compete in these games and Birmingham can be seen as an epicenter to promote peace. With more than 300,000 tickets sold for the World Games, Mayor Randall Woodfin says it's important the city stands in solidarity too. To allow those athletes to compete would be to ignore Putin's unacceptable aggression against innocent people. So as a reminder, this is Birmingham. We are a city that made its name by standing tall in the face of injustices. The International World Games Association has a, late, a meeting later this week to determine if those athletes who were not qualified before will be able to take the spots of the athletes who have been banned from the World Games 2022. Live in Birmingham, Ashley Gooden, ABC 3340 News.